This is it, PBA fans. One more show to crown the 2021 PBA Tour Finals champion. Group one winner, Kyle Troop against group two winner, Anthony Simonson, in a race of two match. When it's all said and done, one bowler takes the title. Big prize money and a place in PBA Tour history. It's the fifth and final show, the fifth annual PBA Tour Finals. We started with eight of the world's best bowlers. We are down to two. Group one winner, Kyle Troop. Battles group two winner, Anthony Simonson. In a race to two championship match, the winner takes home the PBA Tour Finals trophy and a big check as well in prize money. Welcome back, bowling fans. Dave Bryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, rejoined by Andrew Anderson, lane level former PBA Player of the Year in a moment. Wow, I mean, unbelievable bowling all day long, Randy. The 300 game was fantastic. And now here we are, a rematch of last year's PBA Tour Finals, Jupiter, Florida, won by Kyle Troop in a ninth, 10th frame roll off. Now this year, dual oil patterns as well in our race to two. This is gonna be amazing to watch. I'm spent. <laughs> I mean, th there's been so much great bowling today, starting like you said with the 300. And then both of the matches, going to extras, right? First with Troop and O'Neal. And what what Troop did to win that, Bill O'Neill needing two in the in that tenth frame gets the first one and then leaves that to let Troop in. And then Simonson somehow overcoming all of the adversity that he went through. Had problem with the approaches, lost that first game, then started stringing a bunch of strikes, changed equipment, changed angles completely and then somehow found a way to get it done, yeah, baby, we're in, the, done here. in the extra frames. Two games for a reason. And that's right, two games for a reason. And, and I mean, the roll-offs were amazing. And Andrew, I'd like to know what your take is on what you've seen thus far and heading in to these finals with these two great players. What a day. I mean, you know, we've seen a little bit of everything. We have a 300. We have some huge shots being made by both Kyle and Simo just to get to this final match. And, you know, Kyle just keeps solidifying his player of the year run. I mean, really, let's be honest. He, he's going to win player of the year, and he deserves it. He's had one of the most remarkable years ever. But Simo has not won in uh, quite some time. And, and for our level of Simo and how we think of Simo, he's a winner. So this is going to be a great match. There's going to be a lot of fire. There's going to be some energy, and I'm excited for it. We can't wait as well, Andrew. What challenge does this offer with a dual oil pattern, 38-foot Marshall Holman, 46-foot Patraglia for these bowlers? Yeah, so I think the, they've been bowling on the 46-foot pattern all day, so they're pretty comfortable there. I think whoever's going to figure out that right lane quicker is going to have the advantage early on. But both are great players. I expect both to be throwing urethane on the right lane. So we'll see how, uh, we'll see how it plays out, but I, I expect the right lane to be the undoing, possibly, of wh whoever comes out on top. All right, Andrew, great job down there. You stay lane level. Randy and I to the booth. Can't wait. Two bowlers left. Only one can be the 2021 PBA Tour Finals champion. Well, we have two patterns that we have to talk about. The right lane is going to be the short pattern. That's the Marshall Holman at 38 feet. And the players have to get it going in this direction if they're going to use reactive resin. But I think they're going to use urethane, and they're going to go really straight right up second arrow. Uh, the Johnny Petraglia, well, we just got done seeing how that pattern's played. Players can get in, and they can start to open up that pattern a bit more. Urethane on the right lane, reactive on the left. That's the way I see it. Now residing in Las Vegas, Nevada, he rolls out of the nerd, Anthony Simonson. Two career major titles for young Simonson, the Players' Championship and the USBC Masters. He was the youngest player to ever win a major title and the youngest to win two major titles. Finalist last year against Kyle Troop in Jupiter, Florida, lost by a single pin in the ninth, tenth frame roll off. So here we go, race the two underway on CBS Sports Network. Live coverage of the PBA Tour Finals. 
Simo starts the championship match. Leaves a four pin. Did you say race to two? I did. Nice. Did you say if they split, it would go to a ninth and tenth frame roll off? I did. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Already seen it in the group one and group two finals. in Newton, Kyle Troop. Kyle Troop, the defending champion of this event, and he was the top seed coming in. 2020, when he won this title, it was the third for him of the season. 2021, seven televised finals appearances, and he is a shoe in to win his first Player of the Year honors. I mean, this year, Randy Mez was booking for television fans. Book him, Dano. He, he just book him. Book him, Dano. It's been that good. Dave and Randy the boot. Andrew Anderson, former player of the year. PBA Tour is lane level with us. A great job joining us all day. Won it last year as we talked about in Jupiter, but it wasn't easy. To the game's best going at it, man. How's it going to be easy, you know? Like if he was bowling me, it'd be easy. <laughs> 3-6-10, not the start Kyle wanted. I think it's going to be tough for the players to slow curve it on the left lane like they both have, have done today and throw it hard enough on the right lane. Really? Why? I just, when you throw your thing um, and they're hooking that much, I think that they want to play straighter, but because they're curving it so much already today, their kind of natural tendency is to throw it a touch slower or their miss be slower and around it. Where with your thing, you want to be more up the back and generally a touch firmer if you're playing straight. Right, but I mean, you, you got two different oil patterns. You got to play them two completely different ways, right? 100%. So you go faster and you, and you jam it on the right lane. Yep. And on the left lane, you have to back her down, gear down, throw it slower and open up the pattern, right? 100%. Okay. Left lane for two. Whoa, we just hit shot. Smokes that one three pocket. Those pins, fellas, had no chance whatsoever. So, so Andrew, let me ask you this. You bowled on dual patterns before. Yep. What was the most difficult part for you? The speed control, 100%. Speed control, going from two different speeds constantly. Uh, it, it, it's tough, but uh, like you said, best in the world. They're really good at it, so... Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see who can get get off to a better start here. Well, let's not forget what Simonson did on the short yesterday, Andrew, when he started with a front front ten and shot 289, and I thought that's exactly what he would do on that short pattern, where he would, you know, get right on top of it, go really straight with that ball speed and try to jam it. Frame Simon sitting. Yeah. That was good. Got the double. Yeah, and I think the message here, Andrew, is how much the the fans need to appreciate the skill level when going from one extreme to the other. Oh yeah. I mean, on the fly. This is the first time they're attacking dual patterns this weekend so far, correct? That is correct. Yeah, so for the first time, uh, trying to get into the mindset to do two different speeds. Gotta appreciate it. Top seed a year ago at this event. Champion for his sixth title and a 10 pin. We call that the quitter 10 these days, Andrew. What do you call it? Sorry, Andrew, I know you're, somebody was talking to you. We call that the quitter 10. I was just curious as to what you call it. Oh, I've called it some some crazy stuff in the past, Randy. I, Maybe uh, not for television. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's definitely a quitter ten, the flat ten, uh, soft ten, uh, and then you know we can we can change it up from there. Okay. Maybe you can think about it and come up with a with a new one that we could start using. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Give me a couple minutes here. I, th I think lazy I can come up ten. With something. Um, 
Um, <laughs> I'm there's a lot of what you there's, come a, up with. there's a lot of inappropriate things we can come up with. We just can't use them on television. I mean, you can. Don't you know, do it, I Andrew. Just, I just, just started this job. I just started this job. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Good shot from Troop left lane. And this is the difference, right? That Troop's trying to dial in that right lane, and uh, Simo dial in a touch faster, so he's off to the early lead. Beauty here, though. I just got to just figure out how to shape that right lane. Two of the eight PBA Tour Finals this year, Lavoie and Vi made their Tour Finals debuts, but these guys are experienced finalists a year ago. One by Troop in Florida. Time oh, seven pin. So Randy, what do you call that? That's that's the Shaker seven. Okay, okay, we're on the same page with that one. Hey Andrew, how, how about that ball that Simonson's using on the short? It, it was made like 30 something years ago. It was made before Simon and myself were born. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty cool to be honest. You're 26, you. Andrew, is that right? Yes, that's oh, correct. Simon's 24. Young guys out here. Big stars on tour. Strikes two nine spares for Simo. Solid, clean. Opening up the race of two championship match. Left lane for two hander. Seven. seven. Unlucky. Yeah. Stone so many pins over there. It's, it is sometimes crazy that something doesn't hit it. You know, it, it's funny, Andrew. You've done a lot of bowling in this center, but it, it, it seems like. There's times when the carry absolutely stinks, and then we see Chris Vi shoot 300. To your point, Randy, we, when we play like league here on some softer patterns, we throw a lot of strikes in the arena. Like it's known for a lot of high scores. But when we bowl on patterns and you, your ball starts to hook a little earlier and use energy faster, you get some weird hits as we've seen all day. Gotcha. Ball maintenance. It's all about the ball maintenance, brother. Win probability, 58% here for Simo. But as we've seen, it can shift as the matches progress. Game one, race to two for the title. The nine pin stands for true. How about that? He makes the ball change, right, Andrew? Yeah, into the fast pitch, different urethane, and uh, just stuffs a nine. I mean, just stuff a nine. Look at this. Watch the oh ball go right by it, right? Gosh. That's centimeters. Defying physics, guys. Just defying physics. Not fair. All right, bit of a slugfest here. Not a strike fest, to be sure, in game one. Three spares, two strikes for Kyle. The same for Simo. It's close. Sixth here for Simons. Uh, for Troop stepping up. Left lane. Oh, yeah. That looked perfect for the pro with the throw. No pick yet, because it's early. Championship match is underway. It's all about focus, all about trying to win a title today in suburban Detroit. Midway point, game one. Race the two championship match here in Allen Park. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. We're up high in the booth here at Thunder Bowl. Andrew Anderson, 2018 PBA Player of the Year, is lane level with us. Up steps Simonson. Working on back to back, nine spare, seven. A lot of hydroplaning going on on that shot. Again, Simonson and Troop both using non reactive balls on the shorter pattern. See, it was trying to get there. 
Instead, Simonson leaving the 2 4 5. Solid. Gotta be like just a little bit better than that. So, lower numbers in this championship show to start things off. Challenging with a duel. Lane Patters, the arsenal for Simonson. Now, balls out of the nerd in Las Vegas. He's also one of the operators there. He has learned the mechanical part of bowling. Can fix ball returns. Works hard in that center. Keep him going. Wow, ring and ten Good shot. Yeah, it was. All right, covered up. Keep grinding. See what uh, your opponent does. Yeah, this is a back and forth match so far. Seeing who can figure it out on uh, both lanes faster. I think the left lane is the easier of the two to figure out, don't you? I 100% agree, and I think that's why the two top seeds picked that pattern earlier today. Got the pink breast cancer awareness spare ball. So, Andrew, could you fix a ball return the way Simo can now at the Nerd? Yeah, I mean, I've known, I know quite a bit about uh, cool. the machines in the back, but ball returns, I'm going to leave it to Simo. I'm impressed, man. Tied with Tom Doherty for two titles this year, but everyone is assuming that Cobb will be player of the year for the first time. Looks for the lead. Seven. That shot. Man, did that ball walk to the pocket. He walked it into the pocket. Right? <laughs> watch this, watch this walk, walk it out. Ball follows. Oh. That was great. Yeah, great it was. That one behaved nicely. Yeah, walk it in. Taking a re-rack on that left lane is Kyle Troop. And again, working that chamois. Arsenal for Kyle. Got the double up by six, looking to go up by 16. <laughs> Left lane, eighth three. Oh, yeah! yeah. Bang, bang, to the top. Play out the there he is. Pick it out. The greatest showing we have on the PBA Tour. Put the hammer down. I love it when the... The veins on the neck start to pop out, oh. right? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. It's been the year of the troop, no doubt. Yeah, and you're right. Sure has. It's so much fun to watch. But this guy would like to spoil the party. There's that, that old, old grenade. grenade. How old is that ball? Well, we talked about this yesterday. It was, it was made back in the early 90s. <laughs> oh, man. Trouble oh. responds. I've got a great story about that ball that I'll, I'll tell you when we come back after this game. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it right now. Do it right now. Well, when we used to travel to Japan, um, or when we when that ball first came out in the 90s, and we were traveling to Japan, they would put our, our bowling balls through the X-ray machine. The weight block of that bowling ball actually looks like a grenade. Oh my! And so you could imagine oh the havoc. <laughs> that it created trying to go through the x-ray machines at the airport. But it made it through, OK, eventually. It took a lot of convincing. <laughs> great shot. Wow, what a great shot. That's Come a on. great bounce back. Great bounce back by Simo. There's a beauty. And I, I like what Andrew Anderson just said, a great bounce back. Just shrapnel remains off 10 of the pit. That was a great shot in the 1-3 pocket. Let's Kyle know he's still here. Race the two. Win two games. Take home the title. It was tied 1-1 as it was between these two bowlers last year. Then we'll have a ninth, 10th play roll off as we did in each group final already here today. So anything can happen here in Allen Park. 16. Yes, indeed. Four in a row. Here we go. Here we go. Go to work. You know, Andrew.
Andrew, tell me if I'm wrong. You know, you said after Simonson threw the double that it, it let Troop know that he was still there. But, you know, sometimes you just get into that, that place, that mental place, that zone. And I think this year and right now, Kyle Troop is only aware of one person when he's in these situations, and that's himself. He's going to do just fine and win plenty. So uh, his process is unmatched right now, and he knows that, you know, if he does his thing, it's plenty. I mean, I was there when, when I got into that place. It didn't matter what my opponent did. It didn't phase me because I just knew how good I was going to be. And, Andrew, you've been there. You've, re you've lived that same thing. That's where Kyle Troop is. Yeah, and he's been there for a long time. Basically all your guys. I mean, it's just been incredible. Looking for eight. Oh, my oh, How about the win again? Yeah. One pick and no count. Two. Pick it out. One step closer to his ninth career PBA Tour title and repeating as champ in this event. I got a question that, that I'm firing out to both Dave and Andrew. Go ahead. In your life, did you ever imagine a player on the PBA Tour making over a half a million dollars in a season? Go ahead, Dave. Well, Andrew, no is the answer for me. And I'm glad to see Kyle is one step closer to being awfully close to half a mil. How about I you? you, Randy? I, I've been hopeful for it, and I, I think it's uh, just getting better and better, and Kyle's showing us what can be done. Race to two, one step to that. This guy, pro with the fro. Pick it out, Kyle. Pick it out. One game to none over Simonson. Trip wins game one in the race to two. Time for the spare of the game, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate, believe you will. Six frame Randy for Simo. Two, four, five, covered it perfectly. Lost the game, 247 to 212, but a nice pickup for Simonson in the sixth. Kyle Troop, game one in the race to two. One more game, and Kyle repeats the feat as PBA Tour Finals champion to win the trophy and the big prize money. It's on the line here today from Thunderbolt. It's having some fun, a little Neil Diamond playing here. Kyle Tripp's loving it. He's got a one-game and lead on Anthony Simonson. Championship match race to two. If he wins this game, he wins the PBA Tour Finals title again. Simonson has other ideas. Kyle is tied with Dad Guppy, an eight-time Tour Titles himself and one of the great showmen of the game. Kyle's got the Carolina Panther colors on today. Huge fan, sees a ticket holder. Game two, whoa, wide right, no good. One, two, four. Well, we haven't seen much of that today. On the long pattern, it's been Pretty easy to get to the pocket, and that was just wide right. Mm. You're a pin drop in here right now. Covers. Yeah, good cover. There's some anxious energy down here, I'll tell you that. You can feel down there, Andrew? Oh, yeah. I mean, Pressure's on now, right? Yeah. I'm going to go home for Simon. Well, he uh, he found a way to outlast Prather and then beat him in a ninth and 10th frame roll-off. Don't count this man out.
Simonson. Great start. Want to watch all the PBA Classics? Packed house here on hand. Thunder Bowl, Allen Park, Michigan, outside Detroit. Historic Bowling Center. What a turnout we've had over the two days of our coverage here on CBS Sports Network. Left lane for Simonson. Yes, indeed. Beauty. Like I said, don't count this man out. I know it's Kyle Troop. I get it. Simon was too good to ever be counted out. No doubt. Well, Kyle told us after winning the PBA playoffs that Yes, the Players' Championship first major was huge, but the playoffs win to him just meant so much because it took so long. Two different stints in Milford, Connecticut. Field of 16 bowlers. Whoa. This would also mean a lot to Kyle. That ball came back a, lot, a long way, especially for urethane. And when we, we talk about urethane, we're talking about non-reactive. So bowling balls that actually curve less or hook less. That one got all the way back into that swish zone. Use your legs. Use your legs. Ten, Andrew. Yep, yep. Got to get the. Well, I mean, we got, you got both hits there, right? He swishered. He got the strike and chop on the ten. I mean, as you said earlier, he ninja chopped it, right? I like to call that the kick it Jackie Chan style. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I knew Andrew, it's so Jackie hard to keep up with all of Randy's calls. I knew there, there a are a lot Chan of different names for different spares. <laughs> you need a dictionary, really. I'll come out with one just for you, buddy. You really should, yeah. actually. That'd be a great idea. Give me a little spreadsheet on it. That. Yeah, it'd be awesome. So, no. oh. oh! What's that one called, Randy? It's called Not Today, Nine Pin. Not, not Today. today. <laughs> What's this? Boom. What Down pin? you go, Nine Pin. What head pin was that? That was the blade, was that, the head pin. Was that the two pin or the head pin that did that I damage? I think the head pin took out the seven and the nine. I think it was a two pin. Could be. Let's get a replay. Yep. We just did a replay. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to talk to the producer and see if we can get one more. <laughs> David Brunner, our producer, I know you're listening. Can we get one more of those? Yeah, that's my man. Looking to continue the perfect start. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ten pin goes down late. Right. Four. Let's go back to that last yeah. nine pin. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, wait, wait, we don't have it. All That's right. all right. That's all right. We'll just go with it, it. it could be either or. Either or, yeah. Okay. Agree to disagree. Right. But hey, uh, great start for Simonson. Front four. He needs this game right. to force a ninth and tenth frame roll off. Do or die for him. Kyle Troop working on a double. Use your legs. That's the self talk Kyle Troop's using right now. The front four is also referred to as a hand bone. I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> Light swisher 10 for Kyle. Had a couple pins thrown at it, but. Yes. Part of me feels like it's just inevitable that we go to a roll off. I know yeah, it's early. Right. We were it supposed just to. feels inevitable. We, we had it in the group one and group two finals, Andrew. And we had it last year in the championship match. One pin win for Kyle over Simon. Kyle told us about the WWE belt. He won the PBA playoffs. Guppy, his dad, took it to league recently in North Carolina. And as you might imagine, a lot of people wanted selfies with the belt. That was pretty popular that night. Oh, <laughs> Tap in there. At first it was pictures with you the belt and Guppy. Then it was just the belt. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'll take this one, not that one. 
starting to smell a roll off. I know it's early, but I know, I know. Doesn't it feel that way? Andrew, you know, try to give the uh, the fans and, and the folks watching at home some perspective on. on I, I think what the one of the hardest things for the fans and and the viewing audience to understand is, you know, Kyle pretty much owned game one, right? Yep. And so why would game two be any different? You know, you give the best players a second chance on the same patterns, same pairs, same lanes, they're going to figure it out. Simo's too good not to. Um, Kyle may have had an advantage game one, but Simo came out uh, with a vengeance so far this game. Race two, guys. Got to get to two to win the title. If it's tied, and it might be. Ninth, tenth frame roll off. Simonson looks for the front five to stay perfect. Indeed. What a shot. The nickel, five up, five down. Front five for Simo. That break, that break before this game did Simo wonders, gave him a chance to relax, think about how to play these lanes, and he came out. He may not be playing much different, but maybe feel-wise, he just feels better about what he sees. I'm always interested, guys, about the re-rack here. So Simon wants one, Randy. You like that call? I like whatever he's gonna, if, whatever he decides to do. If he needs a re-rack because he feels the pins are off spot, he takes it. If he needs a re-rack to buy a little bit of time, he takes it. How about you, Andrew? Yeah, you got to do whatever you, you're, you're telling yourself to do. Uh, he instantly asked for a re-rack. So when you instantly ask for a re-rack, I tell him he really needed it. Bring it 10 pin looking for the front six. And then when that happens, you're like, how did I, why did I re-rack into that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, that's why I asked. It's interesting. They've got a perfect game going and you want to re-rack. I mean, it, I think it was more for the pace. Possibly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. T typically, it, it, it's uh, your first move is you get over to that lane and you look at the rack. If the yep. rack is off, you take a re-rack. Yeah. If you don't even look at the rack and you take a re-rack, it's to buy some time. It's because you want to buy yourself a little bit of time and pace it out. Right, right now, Anthony Simonson looking to get back in this and force some OT. He's leading halfway through game two. Very lucky that the big rains and flooding did not reach us here in Allen Park, this part of the Metro Detroit, but wow. Yeah, it was brutal. Incredible video and pictures. So many saw. people mm. losing their cars to massive flooding. It's crazy. All right, game two. Simonson up 31. Sixth frame for Troop. Works on a spare. Needs it to happen. Oh, ringing to pin. Good shot. Anna. It's gonna go this game. Roll yep. off. Here we go. Right? Yep. <laughs> I, I feel <laughs> you're saying. Yeah. Now we're all on the same page. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's three in a row. Unfortunately, they're all ten pins. Come on. Keep working. Kyle won game one in the group one final over O'Neill by 10 pins. O'Neill rallied with a 257 game in game two, and then Kyle won the ninth, 10th frame roll off. So, experience with that today already. Two uh, let's just get to the roll off now. <laughs> OT. Yeah, he, I think the rest of this game, we're gonna see some, some tries from Kyle, how to get his ball to the pins a little better. Yeah, he's going to be te doing a lot of testing in the next uh, eight, eighth, ninth, and tenth frame. Yeah, Andrew, now that the urethane balls have gone down the lane enough on the right lane, do you see Kyle possibly taking out reactive on that right lane, giving it a go? Would I like to see him do it? Yeah, but do I think so? No, I mean, he's very in control of the pocket. Mm. Uh, I would. I think he'll try it. I do think he'll try it once. My, uh, my man, listen, being in control of the pockets, one thing, uh, getting 10 instead of 9 every ball is another, right? Right, but he's, yeah, when you're in that position, you probably feel like you're just a, a touch or a feel away from striking. Now, if he leaves one more 10 pin, I 100% think there's a drastic change coming. Okay, I'm with you. 
Six out of seven strikes here, guys, for Simonson. Just the Knights Bear 10 pin pickup in the sixth frame. That's been it. He has been yeah, solid no. in game two. Beauty of the format, right? Like Kyle threw a haymaker at Simo. Simo was throwing a haymaker at Kyle. Yep. And uh, that's the beauty of it. Two of the best bowlers in the world going at it. Prather won game one in the race to two. Group two final, 231 208. Simo threw a 256 at Sharp in the second game. And then won the roll off to get this far. Wow. Huge Great lead shots. here. Great shots. He's getting comfortable. I shouldn't say getting. He is comfortable. He is comfortable. Yeah, he's, he is there, isn't he? What better way to finish the PBA Tour final with a 9 10 frame roll off? like we've had the last couple years. Went three in a row. Yeah, now Randy, got to yeah, see a I'm change, listening. right? We got to see mean, a change. Can't get the 10 out on the right lane. Maybe he goes back to the other urethane ball. That, that could be an option. Uh, I would like to see a reactive, but he's the one bowling, so it's really dependent on what he's feeling. Yeah, I hear you. And you know that Simonson's going to probably make him finish on that lane in the roll-off, right? Does, does Simo get choice? No, well, he got choice in in the start of this match. So then yes, I would. Yeah, right. I, I would. So. I would yep. think he would get a choice of starting and finishing in the ninth and tenth frame roll-off. Yeah, I, I don't see any way he doesn't have Kyle finish on that right lane right now. Yep. I know I would. Kyle takes a re-rack here, guys. Think things over in the latter stages of game two, which will go to Simonson. And put us in a 9th, 10th frame roll-off. Okay. Take a second, think about it. Slow Simo's roll a bit. It's like a timeout basketball. Change the momentum. Left lane. <laughs> Looking ahead. All right, so Andrew, Sam with a huge lead here into his ninth. What is he thinking about trying to accomplish leading into the roll-off? Yeah, he's just trying to throw a really good shot here, make sure he maintains that feel he has. And by that, I mean uh, seeing this, that's going to help the confidence going into that roll-off, you know. Um, maybe spares there. Uh, doesn't maybe change his decision on where he goes first or second. I'm not sure, but seeing that happen right there, throwing the messenger across the lane and a fast one at that, that gives him a lot of confidence. Randy, how about you? You, you wrapped the match up, the game up, I mean, early, relatively speaking. Right. What are you doing in the last couple frames? I'm um, just uh, staying the course. I've got a lot of momentum going into the roll-off. I've got both lanes pegged. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Just keep it going. This one is over. Game two, so we'll have a ninth, tenth frame roll off to determine the PBA Tour Finals champion in 2021, as we did last year. It looks like Kyle is going to try the pitch black, going back to the other thing he started with on the right lane. We're going to get through this quickly here. Since it's over mathematically. And the roll-off is on the way to determine the winner of this event. Randy, how'd you like that one? Ah, uh, yeah, marginal. Not, not super convincing. Right, exactly. That is. That is convincing. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the lane I'd finish on if I was him. 100%. Yep, yep. I, I agree. I think you got to if you Simo. I think it's the first time that I've actually felt like Kyle was at a disadvantage all day. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, he definitely feels up against the ropes, or looks up right. against the ropes. That was straighter. Yeah. What now, Andrew? I mean, he didn't, he didn't try the reactive. He's not going to. He's, he's, set, he's set on that. He's, he's hoping that he can just throw a double in that lane. Uh, I would expect him to go one to two right with that black urethane and really crush it at the bottom. I, I, I think he's going to give it some rub rate and make sure that does not flat 10 one more time. 279 game, guys, for Simons. Wow. 
I was going to say, why shoot the temp in when he can <laughs> yep. throw another test ball here? Yep. And that's exactly what he did. He put the spare ball down. Test ball there for Troop, thinking about the ninth, tenth frame roll off. By PBA Tour rule, this time must be broken by a ninth and tenth frame roll off. Kyle Troop will begin on the left lane. Here we go. The drama built. Did we expect it to go any other way? We did not. <laughs> Power for the chorus today. expected right that one was almost expected see how much pressure Simon could put on him. remember that number or those numbers yeah 40 to 39 a spare here in a ring 10 and a strike and guess what it could possibly finish the exact same way 40 39 the same way amazing <laughs> Critical non-strike there for Simonson. Trying for his first PBA Tour title since the 2019 PBA Bear Open. It's been the year of the troop. He has been dominant in 2021. What a match. Expect nothing less, Sandra. Everything that Simonson does here in the tenth frame, Troop has to mirror, correct, Andrew? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. For Somerset, yes. How good was that? Uh, really good. Pretty spectacular. This pin count matters. I mean, this is just as big. This shot is just as big as that second, in my opinion. That was pretty good. Yep. Keep in mind, he can't shut out Troop. Troop, if Simonson strikes here, Troop needs two and one pin. On a lane that Troop hasn't struck on very often, especially the last game. Only two strikes on that right lane in that last game where he shot 202 to Simonson's 279. Critical final shot. Yes, trip 10 pin. Huge strike for Simonson. Big. And he'll sit. Nice shot. And he'll wait. And he'll watch. This to is, see who wins this event. This is fitting. The year of the troop has a chance to come up and double for the tour finals. No kidding. No kidding, right? It's so fitting. I mean, you couldn't script this any better. Shot after what we've been seeing, 
that is unbelievable. Needs one more, just like it. Well, a lane that's given him fits all day. He aces that one. Now the question, can he duplicate that to win back-to-back -to -back tour finals, defend his title here at Thunder Bowl in Allen Park, Michigan? Two-day event, nine hours of live coverage, comes down to one shot. Remarkable. Andrew, it looked good out of his hand. It yeah, it was a great shot. Good. So close. It was just so close. It was maybe a touch firm, just a touch firm, but it could have struck. He bowled great. Just what a year for Kyle, and we still have some more bowling to do, but he solidified himself <laughs> as the front runner for the player of the year. Oh, it's a no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind either. But Simonson, back in the winner's circle. It's been so long. It's right there. And Randy Peterson is laying level to talk with Anthony. Go ahead, Randy. Anthony, congratulations. That was some of the most competitive bowling I've seen in a long, long time. You overcame some of the most adversity that I've seen ever. How were you able to do that? Uh, you know, fortunately enough, we're in a two-game match. Uh, I tried to make a, a heel change. To get, get in the line a little bit better, and as you saw, I fell over. Uh, regrouped and just talked to the refs, slow my feet down, uh, and just make sure they're under me. And once I did that, it made everything a little easier. It's been a while since you've been in the winner's circle. How does it feel? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that like to run their mouth, but at the end of the day, I'm the one here. I'm the one doing it. So enjoy. How much, what would you credit all of this success to if you were to pin it on one thing? Uh, I just think growing up, fast you know it's, it's one of those things 24 had to had to grow up at a, at a young age uh, mature pretty quickly still working on that but uh, you know I think that's one key to my success all right man hey congrats and enjoy this one thanks Andy right, appreciate it. it he encompassed a lot of different themes of his career and his year in that interview interesting answers from Simonson he wins on the bench what a match here in Allen Park Simonson is the champion What a weekend of bowling from Thunder Bowl in Allen Park, Michigan. In the end, Anthony Simonson wins the championship match of the PBA Tour Finals in 2021. 2-1 in the race to two.